as ultimate, of course. Even getting some summoners here would be a valuable wall roam. And yep, we're going. Okay, this is going to be targeted on the Sangyun here. He gets devoured up. Nice dodge by Key and Stopwatch. Look at how much time that buys. Trying to keep Key alive now as well. Chain of Corruption keeps them all back. Nerf on this patch, so going to be a little bit less vision in the game. Big scrap up in the top side. Linderoth. Ultimate into the Gnar ultimate. So here it comes. This is very tricky by Rob's Tigers. The ward, I think, was unseen by Kive here. Looking for the play now. Lava coming in from behind. He gets the Emperor's Divide. Gnar in a ton of trouble. That will be first blood given over to Sungwa. He does spawn next. So I guess Rob's Tigers could cement some vision around the Infernal spawn. But in terms of turrets, no lead there apart from a tempo lead. Ooh, oh, Lava getting caught up here, gets knocked back. Haru has been waiting all his moments, all his life for this one moment, but uh, did not find it in the end. They're trying to come behind KSV. Two members stopwatch, but can they get out? Make that one. Can they get a second? Cosmic Radiance and the Flash from Crown will discourage that dive. We Any all take a deep breath. Cubey still hasn't transformed, so they can't wait out. He's not exhausted. Ooh, Lava. Getting knocked up there, eating a bunch of damage before this fight happens. Linderong taking a moment to push the bot lane as well. A small little maneuver. Kube looking for it. He does get the stun onto one, but not quite enough. The chain of corruption coming in and delaying this is such a tense fight. We're looking for the Camille to go in now. Lots of low members of KSV, and it's the poke of lava who's also low. Here comes Haru from behind, looking for the pick on the lava. The perfect devour saves his life, and nobody has died yet. Linderog is getting out of here. <laughs> to tell, but uh, <laughs> that's the end of it. Wow, that was interesting. They're gonna get crowned in the end of it. They will trade it one for one though. Sungwon, awkward spot here. Can he get out? No. Well, yes. Yes, you can. He actually had his ultimate available. Rock Tigers have certainly overperformed. Well, they're looking for Core JJ here. Let's see if they can stun him down. Page Call will save his life. They're trying to go on to Key, who flashes away. Core JJ getting so low. Devour saves the life. Leo in a side lane, so they can't really wave clear, and they're going to lose turrets over time. Slow push comes in, they get the Kalista on the back, but Sanyu getting low. So on, they're gonna jump on in. Core JJ still has his stopwatch. Lots of poking back. Crown makes the play, predicts the flash with his own. Low value from Talia and the Rengar that really should be punishing them. They're turning on Rengar. Yeah, looking for Haru here. Thrill of the Hunt comes out. They catch him with the Chain of Corruption on the back of it. Lava gets devoured and survives. Now it's just going to be up to Solwan to get out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, trying... So far, they've been so smart on their lane assignments. Again, it's four members in one lane. No Sun Turret this time, though. Yeah, a bit of a longer one up in the top side. Crown, look at the damage he's taking, though. Someone trying to slow everybody down with this W, but we have the engage. Devour comes in, but the lockdown on the core JJ is perfect. Out of Sogyun, that's going to end now. The Cosmic Radiance, they're looking for a pick. Here's Kume, though. He misses. Not able to have it out. Look at Sogyun all alone. In comes Linderong from the back. Haru can't even do anything. He's totally out of the fight the entire time. They get another pick. The base now. Should be able to here, barring a big mistake. The amount of poke this lineup has, and the engage. They're gonna get on to Ruler here, who somehow still has the stopwatch. Well, that knockback there by Crown was nice. It's not gonna be enough. Two more kills on the board here, and the push continues. He's gonna try to tank it up. Still actually a very tanky turret. They need everyone to hit it to actually <laughs> take it down. All right, uh, the, you can tell that the pressure is on. Although he is going to begin poking here, there is Haru oh, looking flash. for it, and he is going to get stunned up. That's going to be one kill, make it a second, and the Baron rocks, making plays all over the map. The kills, 10 to 1 is the kill score. We're going to see the replay every time they've tried to make an aggressive move with the Fates Call. The Tarek ultimates as well, they've been so well kited out. There's no threat onto the members of Rock's Tigers. <laughs> there is threat from Cube, but double, double flash. flash means that Cube can't get anything. Lenderong jumps in. He's been split pushing the rest of the game. Reminder, they have five members. And like you say, Haru awkwardly watching on. Nothing he can do. The tempo of the game set by the Rocks Tigers. And it wasn't a gimmick. It wasn't. The extra teleports wow. from the, the Abyssal Voyage in particular. A demonstrable skill lead. It's been great. 
table. We have a wall coming in here. Kive trying to build it up. He wants to get that ultimate, but the Emperor's divided. He goes down. He can't get in there. They're too far behind now. They're going to lock down Ruler, too. That's going to be two kills. And rocks. we will have a pause. I don't, I don't know exactly what happened here, but I think devoured someone, and then something happened. So let's see. Let's watch the replay here. So we're watching. Watching Tom Kench, and it sounds like there might be a bug after Tom Kench's so he through evolving move. movement. He can't move. He was stunned. <laughs> he was stunned there because of the terrain, and now he's actually stuck on the tree. <laughs> oh, no. He's a bird, you know. He's taking a little rest on the tree. Significant errors from one player, and we're back in game now, so. So we just we just devoured the uh, Azir here, and uh, we are going to go into the game, so. Papa Smithy had all the answers, Yay. and I think it's going to work out from here, guys. Five on three, turret's going to go down. The rest of them just getting super low. Desperation now. Someone looking for some extra kills has the GA. No way to get out of this one. Rocks Tigers are going to take the 2-1 victory over KSV. The result we knew was a little bit delayed. A very well-deserved victory. Shout out to Rocks for an extremely good performance tonight. And that's why you see the big smiles on their faces. It might feel slightly anticlimactic, but they still pick up the victory they so rightly deserve. And the point I was trying to get to was, this was not one player on the side of KSV having a down game and his team capitulating around him. Rocks Tigers should be rewarded for outplaying and outmoving the side of KSV. And that wasn't with gimmicky teleports that like they tried in game one and two. That'll be a strategy they revisit until yeah. Spellbook and double teleport bot lanes is something powerful that the meta currently allows. But this was just with standard summoners playing out the game smartly, reducing the win conditions from KSV when it came to the four-man group to zero. The sun turret kept the lane so damn small. It was so short they could never look for a flank. Haru just had to watch. His ultimate was just to allow him to have a moment of solitude, invisible but with no one to play with. And Rox Tigers pull off the upset in KSV. Once again fall to opposition. They should be comfortably beating. And the question remains, right? The only other real top team they've faced is another one of the K teams, KZ. They take them out 2-0, and that was against Rascal. That wasn't even their full lineup. They take out Jenner and Afrika, also good teams. But how are they going to do against KT? How are they going to do against some of these other top teams? It's it's. You didn't want to say. You didn't want to say SK Telecom T1 out I, loud. I did not want to because it's not quite the same as 2017 or any other year.